Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about game 25 of the regular season where the Astros win 7-2 over the Seattle Mariners, and the Astros stick to their script. No, not the script of winning, but no, the script of making me look foolish. Remember, like, two weeks ago when the Astros lost a game? I'm like, well, maybe we shouldn't panic, and then they rewarded me saying that by losing three in a row, or four in a row at that point it would become. Well, yesterday, I offhandedly go, ah! It's Verlander and a man who has an over 6 ERA. Surely it's going to be a pitcher's duel, and they go, ha, got you again. The Astros offense struck often and early in this game. First inning, two out lightning. Bregman and Alvarez are on base. It's first and second with two outs. Yuli Gurriel hits a double. His 11th double of the season. I, I couldn't believe it. The Pena, who's had a bit of an off start to the season, yeah, he hasn't been as good as he was last season. Granted, last season he was just bananas. I still think he's going to get there. But he has 11 doubles, which leads the American League, also leads the team. You know who's second? Chaz and Alex Bregman with five each. Yuli has 11. So that would make it one nothing Houston. In the second inning, the Astros load the bases. Michael Brantley singles to make it 3 nothing in favor of Houston. Uncle Mike, the professional hitter, then Alex Bregman would come up and hit a single to make it a 4 nothing lead. Bregman would strike again in the fourth inning, getting a sack fly to make it 5 nothing Houston. And then in the sixth, he would strike yet again with a double to make it 6 nothing in favor of Houston. And Jordan Alvarez would single, get thrown out trying to stretch it to a double, but Alex Bregman would score and would make it a 7 nothing Houston lead. And two runs shot for the Mariners in the bottom half of the seventh, or in the top of the seventh, excuse me. And the final score would end up being 7-2. to two. So with the offense now being talked about, sort of buried the lead. Today was the pitching staff. Justin Verlander makes no sense. He has not made sense at all this season. I don't understand how one at 37, 38, which is not old in the scheme of life, but for Baseball and sports is older, and he has Tommy John surgery. He has, like, the hardest surgery to rebound from in North American sports. And he just, he, he comes back, and he's better than when he left. Like, I've spent many a night confused looking at photographs of Justin Verlander, trying to figure out h how. Six and two-thirds. Only two runs allowed, made one mistake all afternoon, walked no one, and struck out three. Low on the strikeouts. The Astros have not been striking out a ton of batters recently. They just are getting a lot of weak contact. And hey, the main goal of pitching is don't let them barrel you up. And Verlander really didn't get barreled that often. He got barreled, I want to say, just about once today. Uh, he did great. Absolutely incredible. Still holding a sub-2 ERA. I, I don't... <laughs> it's just silly, man. Ryan Stenick would come in and getting out, like, I want to say he threw a pitch. Ah, yes, Stenick with a very hard day's work of one pitch. And Mashkinsky tries to get his season back on track with two shutout innings. Perfect. Three strikeouts. He looked great in his little outing today. And the Astros cruised to a 7-2 victory. And now I'm going to hop back to the offense because, yeah, the pitching was great. I already mentioned the offense being great, but we were great with runners in scoring position. 5 for 11 is great. That's fantastic. If you're near that 500 batting average with runners on, you're going to win a lot of games, unless it's like one for two, in which case that's sort of an asterisk. Only left six men on today. We did really well. So the Astros get a nice victory this afternoon to wrap up a series sweep against the Seattle Mariners to get three games over 500, which is the first time this season, and also on a day where Dusty Baker from the city of Houston and the mayor was presented a lovely plaque and declared Houston, or Dusty Baker Day in the city of Houston, which is pretty neat. And he got another victory, so now it's 2001, a Space City Odyssey for Dusty Baker. But now with that series against the Mariners wrapped up and a big series of that, we now can focus on the next series. The Detroit Tigers come to town. First game is tomorrow night, 8, 10 Eastern, 7, 10 Central. We will send Jose Urquidy to the mound. They will send Tarek Scubble to the mound. So hopefully we can get a fourth straight win. I'll be here afterwards to talk about it, and that is all I have to say for the afternoon. So, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, go Strohs.